uh, setting up the point from defense to offense. A great first point there. Donald's just speeding it up. Yes. He's just going for it. Do you, Michelle, do you think play, being able to play indoors um, really affects the play here versus playing outdoors? Great question, Bobby. Uh, something we talked about in our last match. I do. I do feel like uh, it's different. I mean, uh, there's no variables as far as wind and sunshine and, and all of that. So I think that's a great thing. But also people uh, struggle with lighting. Um, some people like it and some people hate it, but uh, I am a huge fan of indoor pickleball. How about yourself? You know what? I so I come from both Hawaii and South Florida, um, so <laughs> very used to being able to play outdoors. Mm -hmm. But of course, um, having that experience of playing indoors at a couple of tournaments definitely like that, where you know you don't have some of the control goals such as wind, mm -hmm. sunlight. Um, so you know, don't don't mind it. Both have those pros and cons, but definitely I think indoors players are starting to see the benefits of it. Yeah, there are definitely benefits, and um, I feel like we've kind of been cursed in a way that every time we come out into any event, there's been rain. It, it just happens. Like, I don't know what it, yep. what, it was, what it was this year, but there has been rain or a massive amount of sun in each event that we had <laughs> this year so uh, playing indoors definitely uh, helps the body and it helps the players and I think it's just uh, solid to be able to have continuous play throughout the week in the in the same environment yeah all right Deckel bar is now on the left side of the court bar not ahead by two here Speed up again. Travis Rettenmeyer was a little flat-footed there, not anticipating that one. Are you surprised with uh, Donald speeding up almost every shot? I was actually <laughs> going to point that out. I think we've seen a couple points, actually. Three, maybe three, three or four, that he's decided to initiate the, some of those speed-ups. Rettenmeyer as well, just, you know, not giving the point um, some room. You know what I mean? Not, yep. Not building up to it and just you know speeding up right away it just becomes very predictable for James Ignatowicz and Deckelbar and James Ignatowicz himself is pulling the trigger quite early right now and it's the time to find things is the beginning of the game isn't it yes wouldn't you say and I think and I and I definitely agree and I think in the beginning of the match with um nerves coming into play a little bit there is a tendency to be able to kind of rush, rush things, speed up um, very, very early in a match. Um, I think once they start settling down, we may see a little bit longer points where, like we said before, we want to be able to see players kind of build the point, then kind of look for that speed up there. So very nicely done there by Travis, being able to move that ball out wide um, and then finding that open spot. Perfect timing, Bobby. <laughs> Good pressure from Deckelbar, putting that ball down with not that much pace. Tough ball to reset from transition zone. Ooh, very good get by Donna Young.
<laughs> Every time Donald Young sees a ball, it looks like he's just going for it. And I think the last two, maybe two or three speed does, he's been kind of going to that same spot, which is line to that body mm -hmm. or backhand of whoever's in front of him. Would like to maybe see a couple um, changes there on that speed up spot. All four players coming in hot, Bobby. Big serve from Rettenmeyer. Like Donald Young changed the spot up there a little bit. Got that point off the speed up. All right, <laughs> Mike getting pumped up. Finally finding some open spots and, and making those shots executing. It's pretty awesome in pickleball where one point can really change that momentum and really bring the energy out in players. So. Hopefully they can kind of keep this energy up. Big Ernie from Deckel. Such a huge angle from the big man himself. A nice side out there for Young and Rettenmeyer. Able to gain some points there, closing the gap. I feel like now the points are having a little bit more purpose here, Bobby. Yes, you definitely see now a uh, little bit, little bit longer points. All four players trying to b uh, now build the point, moving the dinks around, finding some openings. Um, you know, as we can see there, Travis being pulled out wide. James saw an opportunity in that middle. Um, unfortunately, Donald kind of read that young, but in the net. And we see a little momentum here from Deckelbar and James Ignatowicz as now they're leading by three. No timeouts called, interestingly enough. And Deckelbar is going to go to the right side where I feel like he is most comfortable uh, in front of Travis Rettenmeyer. What a shot from Donald Young. Oh. But Deco Bar is there to counter. Good hands from, from all four players there, actually. Very good counters. And I, to be honest, really good spots on the on the on the speed ups there. Um, it's just, you know, with Deco taking that as a as a counter, he was able to kind of put it back in that middle. And Donald Young changing the spot of the speed up, going down the line, getting James Ignatowicz for the side out here. 
trailing by four. A lot of drives at the baseline. A lot of drives. Third shot drive, fifth shot drive. Off the net twice. Mm. And it goes to the side of, of Ignatovich and Barr. How, how often did you work on your drives when you first started playing? Were you stubborn with it? Did you want, did you want your drives to become more of like a powerhouse for you or did you feel like you need to be more patient with drops yeah so very good question um funny funny enough i i came from tennis so of course what i just did what i only knew is to hit the ball and and drive the ball um, i was very fortunate enough to be able to um start in a start with a community of players that were able to kind of mentor me and teach me how to play the game of pickleball so was able to actually learn the soft game fairly quickly because of who i played with uh, but of course eventually right now as we're seeing the game changing a little bit it's becoming a little bit quicker being able to add a little bit more actually drives back into it and being a little bit more high percentage aggressive i love it What a take from Ignatovich. <laughs> Tough shot there in the transition zone where both Rettenmeyer and Young have been caught a few times here in this first game. Florida Smash, challenger team, DC premier team. And the hands battle goes to Rettenmeyer and Young. <laughs> Love Travis. Travis's oh, yeah. energy right now. He's chirping up a storm. Definitely taking it to Deco and James here. He's got to find something. Down by four. Yep. And and how does that how, does that affect your? So calm your nerves, as well. Oh, Young looking for the speed up again down the line, but not the right time as he was definitely on defense there, stretched out to the side. But you got to give it to him. I mean, Anna Lee Waters was, and Lee Waters were one of the first players back in the day who just relentlessly just were aggressive on every single shot, speeding everything up and going to the hands battles and look at them they they came on top of the game and Anna Lee is now the number one player in the world on the female side and um so Donald Young is looking to maybe be that on the male side a lefty mm -hmm. look is not too shabby yep relentlessly aggressive here and they're looking to stick with that game plan let's see if they do that after the timeout here deco bar with a good read there coming to the sideline with that big earn quite sure what is going on here. So a warning was issued to Donald Young who slammed the ball into the net out of frustration. Um, after the warning, 
Donald Young was just a little upset that he got the warning. Um, so let's see how he bounces back after that situation. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Frustration getting into full, and James gained a point. Is that, is that correct there? So it's 10-3. And there is game number one. Guaranteed pickleball play every week. No hassle, no paddle stacking lines, no worries. Join the Pickleball League today and up your game with competitive, consistent, well-matched play. Connect with your local leagues, check live rankings on your phone, and play with ease. Whether you're there to socialize with your community, network across the net, or have fun playing your favorite sport, leagues are a stress-free way to enjoy your play. Find your closest league at pickleball.com and click leagues today to get started. Decided to play this one together. And sure enough, they're playing against the DC pickleball team, Deckelbar and James Ignatowicz. Off pace ball there from James Ignatowicz. That's been working a lot against this team where it looks like Rettenmeyer and Young are, are anticipating hard fast shots coming by and so it's a smart decision just to give some off pace and the ball is just being hit down at the feet. Rettenmeyer looking to see if there's anything wrong with the ball. And the slow game's actually working for Rittenmeyer and Young. Yep. If, if they are able to incorporate a little bit more of that into their game, they can maybe pull game number two. Yes, uh, definitely agree there. And I think e even in the we saw in the first game where it was very, very close in the, in the first half, and I believe I counted maybe three or four times where they were able to get on serve at four, but were not able to execute. Um, so I saw maybe, I think I counted three or four times they were able to do that um, just because they couldn't really get up, most of the time they couldn't get up to that kitchen. So let's see if we uh, see an adjustment here where they're initially able to kind of get up to a kitchen, um, whether it's mixing in some drops as well. Uh, but let's see if they're able to do that here in the second game. That must have felt great, and the ball was called out. Oh, there was a footfall, and, and the ball was out. So they lost a point twice. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Very good moving there from Travis, going from middle, then going, being able to cover that line. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And Rentmeyer with the off pace speed up. Love it. Very good at that. Very good at reading, reading um, those shots. I've had a chance to play a couple times against him um, in, in mixed doubles, so he definitely loves that shot, and very, he's very good at executing them. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to continue.
Yeah, definitely uh, different personalities here um, on both sides of the court. Yes. Declan James, definitely a lot more, more calm, more composed. Yes. Donald and Travis love to bring the energy in the fight. Nice setup from Donald Young with that roll cross court, giving Travis Rettenmeyer a nice put away. Oh, Rettenmeyer is lighting up James Ignatowicz right now. Look for Duckle Bar and James Ignatovich to switch here. Let's see if they, oh, they're calling a stay. So we'll see if they could pull it off. If not, a timeout. Uh, nice let go from Duckle Bar. All business here. Nice little three point run for Rettenmeyer and Young. Definitely a different start as well to game two for Travis and Donald compared to uh, the first game. I've noticed that Rhett and Meyer Young are targeting James Ignatowicz um, on the return. And James Ignatowicz, Duckle Bar, struggling to get up to that kitchen line on serve. Young really wanted that combo. <laughs> wow, what a ball from James Ignatovich anticipating that ball. That came a little too high off the paddle of Travis Rettenmeyer. That reach from James Ignatowicz is just so good. I wish yep. I wish we both had that hey, in our you know game. What? I was just about <laughs> to say, it, it is nice being tall. <laughs> Having that length. James Ignatovich read that speed up from Donald Young. He just put that ball in the wrong spot. Um, there's a little opening um, on Donald Young's forehand side. Travis Rettenmeyer was sitting on that. Two in a row. There's a drop getting up to the kitchen. This time Ignatovich trying to find a speed up and you know, he's been getting dominated uh, in game number two from Travis Rettenmeyer on the speed up. So he wanted to start it. And a missed return for what seems to be a timeout from Duckle Bar, James Ignatowicz. Uh, a little bit more patience here in game number two, wouldn't you say, Bobby? Yes, definitely agree. And um, actually, to be honest, really great stuff from Donald Young and Travis to be able to make a couple adjustments and have a good start in that second game. Um, I think it's, you know, it's easy to kind of go down mm -hmm. um, after game one, especially after a couple, uh, couple controversial, controversial mm -hmm. um, calls happening in that first game. So big kudos to them for starting off strong in that second game. And a good timeout from Ignatowicz and Barr, who are able to stop both serves for the side out here. Oh, that's that was a good look from James Ignatowicz. Finally able to get a beautiful third in and, yep. and be aggressive. Wow. 
Set the bar looking for the ATP, but hits a net post. Oh, looking for that reset in the transition. Timeout, an offensive timeout. And Donald Young, ahead by three. Great pressure from Deckel Barr. Very good pressure from Deckel Barr, and I know probably Donald Young wants that back there. Mm -hmm. James Ignatovich, again, struggling a little bit here on his third. James Ignatovich asking Duffelbar if I could see on the right side for one. Change things up, give a different look. Oh, and that ball sails long. James Ignatowicz knows that that wasn't the smartest decision, not the highest percentage one. Nice, great hands from Ignatowicz. Finding the opening, finding the right spots. Deckel Bar is doing a really good job at giving some bait looks. Yes, definitely, definitely some bait looks. A little bit higher balls. Donald Young, you know, looking to, to looking to take advantage of those, but kind of missed a couple there. The great thing about resets or dinks that look attackable is that they're landing shallow. So at one point they look like they're very attackable because they're coming up so high, but they're dropping very rapidly. And so you can't attack a ball that's dropping down. And that's where Donald Young struggled against Deckel Bar for a couple points. So now they're able to gain one here on this side out. Can they gain another? Yeah. Bad luck with the neck cord there. Again, the off-pace attack, Bobby. And you know what? I'm really, really liking, liking those off-pace attacks because this, they're just, they're just kind of out of reach. They're just a little bit lower where Duckler has to kind of take some pace of it, rather place it than trying to hit it hard. Probably hitting it hard does have to get a little bit more height to it to where it gives the opponents um, a little bit of more of an advantage to be a little bit more high percentage aggressive compared to if you were to off-pace it to their feet. What a spot from Deckel Barr. Very good spot from Deckel. We kind of saw this in game one. I know Travis and Donald were, are up right now, 6-4, but a couple, couple uh, times, probably now second, third time, where they have, they were had a chance to be on serve. Didn't quite score points here. James Ignatovich not playing his best right now. So he has to find, you know, a little bit more energy, a little bit more focus. And that'll do it. Deckel Bar covering the middle there as James Ignatovich slides over to hit that backhand counter. Is this going to be the momentum shift for? Ignatovich and Barr in game two. Oh. What a spot from Donald Young.
<laughs> Young a little frustrated that he just he's not feeling that drop right now and he knows he has to do that because in game yes. one the drives did not work. But he reverts back to it. And a great speed up from Barr right into the body of Donald Young. Yes, and another tough side out there too where Travis and Donald still stuck at six. Mm -hmm. Deckel and James managing to kind of claw their way back one point at a time here. Duckle Bar saying, hey, let's just be a little bit more patient. Wait for that ball to come up a little bit higher. And easier said than done, Bobby, like to build and establish a point where, you know, you have to be patient for that high one, the, yes. the obvious one to put down on the opponent. Yes, absolutely. Against better players, those trick shots below the net, those speed ups, they're just not going to work. ATP, Duckle's there. Who's going to speed it up? An ATP. ATP called out. Yep. 100, you know, 100, 100%. You know, keep keep the ball, uh, keep, you know, keep the game going. Keep the game um, going. Now hopefully Donald Young and um, Travis are able to, to reset here. There's a lot of tripping, a tripping on those. <laughs> At least they're having a good time. Oh, Donald Young again throwing the S word. <laughs> As he hit the ball, he said, get that S out of here. That's just so intense. That's intense. That is. <laughs> All right, seven, six, one, back, back to the action, and see, mom, things like this are really shifting. You know, like little stops in the little, game. Yes, hundred percent. And a timeout when there re really wasn't a timeout. So, Duckle Bar and Ignata would really have to dial it in here and really just yep. have to focus as best as they can, even with all the banter. There's a side out, but finally off of six, Bobby. We were talking about how they were stuck on six for quite a long time. So now with a two point lead. Big Ooh. serve into the big drive, Bobby. Yep. We were talking about that before yes, the game. 100%. And we expected to see that, you know, from especially from Deco with a big serve there. All right, off to a second serve, Rhett and Myron Young opting to, to take the return over to Deckel Bar. Let's see if they change things up as Ignato was struggling earlier with his third. Deckel Bar takes it and misses, but is able to gain one point. So one point deficit for Bar and Ignato. That ball was called out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I can't handle this. I can't handle how much 
controversy there is on the court right now. And it's this crazy score. Second game, it is it is a close game. It is a close game being 8-7. Eight, 8-7-2 seven. Eight, seven, now. See, again, the ref is trying to continue playing. All right, here we go. A little bit more talking here again. <laughs> And a quick side out after all of the discussions. Again, the momentum has stopped and has paused several times. Deckel Bar says, get that out of here. Comes over, clear across yes. to the right side. Punishes with the forehand. Yes. Now we have it all tied up in game number two. Good spot from Rettenmeyer. Really good spot. Oh, James Ignatovich. Not anticipating as he usually does. He's usually all over these shots. Yes. And it's probably because he hasn't seen Donald Young on the other side of the net before. So he doesn't know what to anticipate. Beautiful roll into the forehand put away of Deckel Bar. What a spot Ooh, from what James. What a counter Ignatius. from James off of the forehand there, off of the drive. I mean, the spot there on the court. Have you ever hit a ball like that? Maybe luckily, <laughs> <laughs> based on luck, yes. <laughs> good cover. Oh, and good reset from Donald Young. Gonna speed up, Bobby. Oh, good question! Right here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but Decklebar waited for the right opportunity. He was really in a really did. good position. The ball was just high enough, and there was an open spot on the court. So Decklebar, James Ignatovich ahead by one here. Finally, their first lead here in game, game number two. two. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Deco was anticipating probably an off pace out wide to his back end looking to Ernie. Um, but good change up by Travis. Oh. Oh, rare miss actually by James off of that dink. 9-9. Nine, nine. A little hesitant on that speed up off of the bounce from Travis Rettenmeyer.
James Ignatowicz slides over to the right side of the court and counters the snot out of that ball. Amazing, amazing anticipation um, from James there, being able to read that Travis was going to actually speed up, being able to slide and counter with that backhand there. You know all about that, Bobby. I've seen you on the court doing that. <laughs> I've learned it from Michelle, guys. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, yeah, good cover from Travis Rettenmeyer, closing the middle of the court. You see, you think that there's an opening there in the middle, but there is typically never not. <laughs> Pick up. Footfall. But fall to Donald Young. So a football was called on Donald Young. What a tremendous time. And now we have our first, first game match point. point. Yeah, yeah, match point. Wow. So much banter. That probably felt so good for James Ignatowicz to finally just unleashing on the ball. He looked a little tight on his dinks in the game, so it's always nice to see a nice high ball. Quick side out, and we are into our second match point here. rushed there on the third typically happens when you're either up or down you just want a quick point but you definitely have to work for it oh, and that does it for Bar. James Ignatowicz defeating Donald Young and Travis Rettenmeyer in two straight games 11